Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. I firmly believe that if we lived in the heart center, if we lived through Anahata Chakra, the world would be a much sweeter place to be, not just because it would be infused with forgiveness and kindness and compassion and connection, but also because we would be following our heart. We would be living and honoring our soul's destiny in this lifetime without the mind getting in the way with all of these judgments sending us off on all these diversions. This Kundalini Yoga Kriya is an old favorite. It's known as Kriya to Open the Heart Center, and it just does just that. It brings us into the space of Anahata Chakra. It brings us to this space of compassion, love, connection, forgiveness for each other as well as ourselves. And it brings us closer into alignment with our soul's calling. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good vigorous rub and bring your prayer mudra into the heart center. Take a deep inhale to stretch tall through the spine. Exhale to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale to lift through the heart. Exhale to draw the chin in towards the neck. Let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Aum Namo Gurudev Namo Aum Namo Gurudev Namo Adgure name, Jugad gure name, Sat gure name, Siri guru devi name, Adgure name, Jugad gure name, Sat gure name, Siri guru devi name, Adgure name, Jugad gure name, Sat gure name, Siri guru devi name, Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice, keeping you safe from injury and keeping the space that you're practicing in clear, safe and protected. Exhaling, relaxing the hands down to the knees in Gyan Mudra index, fingers touching thumbs and just allowing those mantras to settle in body and mind bringing you into presence for your kundalini yoga. Good, we're going to start with a warm up through the spine, Sufi grind, holding onto your knees. We're going to inhale the heart forward and around, exhale back and around. Good, so there's a really full, generous movement through the spine and you're breathing deep in synchronicity with the breath. If this feels a little too fast, Slow it right down, but synchronize movement with breath. Good, we've got the navel pulling in just to protect the lower spine. And we've got our awareness at the center of the chest. So it's almost as if this heart center is leading the movement. On the inhale, we're really beaming the heart forward. On the exhale, we're shining the heart out between the shoulder blades behind us. With the eyes closed, resting up and into the Ajna Chakra third eye point in the center of the brow. And on the next inhale, we'll change direction, keeping that awareness at the center of the chest. Feeling this movement in the shoulders, feeling it in the chest as you breathe deep, as you move deep. That's it, opening up, 
With each inhale, each exhale through Anahata Chakra. Good, coming into the center now with a tall spine, taking a deep inhale. And we'll hold that breath in now as we squeeze more buns. So we're squeezing the anus and sex organs. We're pulling the navel into the spine and we're feeling, sensing, imagining that energy rising up from tailbone to crown of head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift and stretch tall. And exhale, relax, release. Turn the palms up, touch index fingers to thumbs in Gyan Mudra. And just take a moment here, really feeling into that space in the center of the chest. Anahata Shukra. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good. Now let's begin our Kundalini Yoga Kriya to open the heart center. We bring our palms together in the center of the chest. We've got our thumbs pushed against the sternum as, cl as close as we can get them. And we've got our fingers angled up and out in a 45 degree angle. Elbows are out because there's a firm pressure between the palms. And we're going to hold our awareness in the center of the chest with a breath of fire. <laughs> So breath of fire is our panting breath through the nose. If it feels a bit too strong for your practice today, slow it down to a very slow breath of fire or a long, slow, deep breath. And however you're breathing, your awareness is anchored in Anahata Chakra as we activate, align, clear and clarify our heart center with this breath. Keep that nice firm pressure between the palms. Finding a nice balance in the center of the chest in Anahata Chakra. And the eyes locked into the third eye point in the center of the brow. Inhale deep. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more bun. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Pull the navel in and feel, sense, imagine that energy rising up through the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift and stretch. Exhale. Relax and release the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees. Index fingers touching thumbs. And just allowing yourself to rest in awareness here. Rest in awareness and Observe the sensations in the body. Feel this expansion, perhaps in the center of the chest. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good. Now we've got our hands in fists, think, uh, thumbs inside the fists. Thumbs are the ego in Kundalini Yoga teaching. So we're keeping the ego under wrap and we're exhaling one hand out, inhaling in. Exhaling the other hand out, inhaling in. Good. Make this a nice, strong, steady, even movement. And again, our awareness stays locked into the center of the chest. Navel pulls in just to protect for that little twist that's happening through the body. And we're projecting our heart energy, those energies of love and compassion, of kindness, of connection out into the auric field. Good. Punch them out. Fill your auric field with these higher vibrations. Eyes locked into third eye point, awareness at the heart center. And good, take both fists back to the armpits, deep inhale. 
Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through Mulban, drawing the energy up through the spine, up to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift and stretch tall. Exhale, float hands down to knees, Gyan Mudra. And again, stay present with this blossoming of energy in the higher centers. Perhaps you can feel the auric field around you, that sense of expansion. Inhale deep, exhale fully. Good, we're gonna expand that feeling of expansion with lovely wide arm movements, inhaling up and back, exhaling down and forward. And as you do this with the eyes closed, we're again staying locked into the center of the chest. Good, keep those movements wide through the shoulder blades, feel the shoulder blades moving. With a lovely, full, generous breath, with this very generous movement. Open up the chest, open and expand those energies of love, of connection, of kindness and compassion out into the auric field so everyone in your vicinity can sense those higher vibrations of the heart. That's it, nice full sweeping motions to spiral this energy out into the electromagnetic field. Last few, stay with it. And inhale, stretch your arms up. Hold that breath in, squeeze more bun, raising that energy up through the spine, up into the arms, up into the fingertips and out into the auric field. Squeeze it, stretch it, expand. Exhale, float the hands down to Gyan Mudra. Feel that lovely release of energy in the shoulders, in the arms. Feel that expansion, perhaps a little more, through the electromagnetic field. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Good. We're going to interlace our fingers in Venus Mudra. We're going to inhale the hands up to the throat. Exhale down to the navel like a windscreen wiper. And again, we want to keep our awareness in the center of the chest and imagine that you're clearing the window of the heart. So we can see the direction that our heart wants to go in. We can follow our heart's lead. The heart, the hridayam, the heart cave is encoded with the soul's wisdom. So the heart knows best of all what our destiny is for this lifetime. When we lean into that heart wisdom, we really step into our soul's destiny. Awareness anchored in the center of the chest, feeling that heart beaming forward through this lovely clear window that you're creating. And back to the heart center, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through Mulban to raise that energy up. Exhale, relax hands to knees, Gyan Mudra. And feeling that expansion within and around you. The effulgence of your heart energy. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. 
good. We're moving into an internal mantra now, Sa Ta Na Ma, which describes the cycle of life, birth, death, and rebirth. We're holding our hands in front of our shoulders. On the Sa, we bring the index fingers to the thumbs. On the Ta, the middle. On the Na, the ring. And on the Ma, the uh, baby finger. And we're just chanting this internally. I'll chant it out loud. Sa Ta Na Ma Sa Ta Na Ma. The eyes are gazing down to the tip of the nose. Sa Ta Na Ma. And the eyes can be open or closed, it's up to you. Na Ma Sa Ta 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 Na Ma You're breathing really deep with this movement and internal mantra Sa Ta Na Ma 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 Open your hands out, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through your buns. Stretch your fingers out wide. Exhale, relax and release your left hand to the knee in Gyan Mudra. I'm mirroring you. We're going to block the right nostril with our right index finger. And we're going to inhale deep through the left nostril, really deep. And we're going to exhale through an O-shaped mouth. Inhaling our left nostril. And exhale, O-shaped mouth. And you want to match your inhale with your exhale. So this is a very even, steady breath, just through the left nostril. Keep the eyes rolling down to the tip of the nose, whether closed or open, it's up to you. A lovely balancing breath that brings us into the moon energies of the body, that feminine energy, that soft, nurturing, loving energy of the moon. Now take a deep inhale through the left nostril. Hold that breath in as you relax your hand down to the knee in Gyan Mudra. We're going to exhale slowly through both nostrils. And now we soften into the natural flow of breath with the eyes resting at third eye point and the awareness resting in the center of the chest, in the hridayam, in the heart cave. This wisdom that knows exactly what steps to take next in order for us to fulfill our destiny in this lifetime.
this wisdom that always has our best interests at heart. This wisdom at the heart that you can always trust. Your wisdom. We'll rest here in silence for just another minute. Resting in the heart cave. And let's bring our palms together in prayer mudra. Once again, the thumbs as close to the sternum as you can get them. Fingers projecting up and out from the heart. And we'll close our practice with Sat Nam. Truth is my name. Take a deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam bowing chin to chest, offering gratitude to body, mind and breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga Kriya to open the heart center, sending that gratitude, that love as far into your life as it will go and coming back whenever you feel ready. Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems. I hope you enjoyed today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I have immense gratitude and thanks for those who support me on coffee through the YouTube Super Thanks. It's because of you that I can keep going strong. So Satnam, huge appreciation. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.